Hi there, this is Snowly, and um, this is a video comment on uh, Apple Soldier's video from a while back. He called it the uh, Mac versus PC, a uh, hot swappable raid on the fly. And I'm going to show you my computer that cost around $1,000 do exactly what he did in the video. Uh, as you can see here I have uh, one internal drive for Snow Leopard and I have three one terabyte drives here RAID Slice, RAID Slice and RAID Slice for uh, the internal RAID which is what I call the, the RAID array. But that's kind of funny because these are um, concatenated uh, disk set as you can see down here and that's just a fancy way of saying JBOD and JBOD is not a RAID and I'm gonna show you later on in the video why it's not a RAID and some other stuff well here we go what's on the drive well I copied in about 28 gigs of data and I copied uh, internally from the main OS drive. It took about four minutes, so that's pretty good speed if you ask me. And what's on the drive? There's just my movie folder I copied over from my movie. And as you can see here, I can watch a file, no problem. These are my exported the Hackintosh guide files. What I'm gonna do now is except moving the camera <laughs> is gonna take I'm gonna take one of the internal drives and disconnect the serial ATA cable um, I'm gonna do that uh, not because it's hard to get the drives out but because that is enough to get the effect that I want and here we go there the drive is gone but what you will notice here is that I cannot open any files. The files are not to be found, except the ones that I opened. No, not even now. And if I'm quick now, plug it in, there's no problem. And the drive is still there. And this time, takes a while, I'm able to watch the content. I can open the file. And that's good. But if I take the same drive out again, there we are, it's out. You see, cannot access the file. Sometimes I'm able to, I'm guessing that's because the operating system has cached the file in advance. Oh, let me demonstrate that. There we are, plugged in again. As you can see here. can view the entire file to the end. I can also view the other files, no problem. But look what happens now when I disconnect one of the drives. The drive is disconnected. I cannot open the file. But the file It doesn't want to do it today, seems like so. But anyways, if you take notice, I'm going to let it be out for a while. And I'm going to have a timer here showing how long it takes before I get an error message. Uh, Apple Soldier had his drive out for 20 seconds plus. I'm going to time him 
and show you. Just waiting. Oh, the disk was not ejected properly. If possible, always eject the disk before unplugging or turning it off. So you see, if I have the disk out of the system long enough, it's going to detect that the drive is missing and there it disappeared. And actually, the only way for me to get it back is to reboot. Um, you see, I can eject the other drives, but I cannot mount it again. The button is not visible. And um, another thing, in the help file here, about concatenated disk set. Look what it says here. Be sure to back up your data frequently. If any of the disks is damaged, you will lose the data that's on all the disks. That means if I have a disk it dies on me, not only is the data <laughs> gone from that disk, but the data will disappear from the two other disks when using a concatenated RAID, which isn't a RAID actually. So when you have a, a spanned disk set like this, if let's say you have three drives, uh, instead of making them three individual drives, you have more or less uh, three times more uh, likelihood of losing data because you have three drives and if any of those fail you lose everything. If you have three separate drives and you store uh, stuff on each drive, if one drive fails you still have two-thirds of your data. So I would say JBOD is not a very safe way of uh, storing your data unless of course you do frequent backup uh, and with Time Machine, of course, an external disk that is capable of storing everything you ha have on the RAID set, internal RAID set, that's okay. But I'm just showing you that maybe not Apple Soldier was telling you the truth in his video about his unique feature in his precious Mac Pro. So I'll leave it up to you guys. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Apple Soldier can have his disk out longer than me without anyone anything happening I don't know but uh, if he's so sure uh, his disk set is hot swappable and rebuildable I want to see a video on it keep Apple Soldier keep that disk out for a minute and I want to see what happens and I'm gonna do some more benchmarks uh, later on in this video show you the performance difference between a JBOD and uh, a RAID 0. And here, let me pull this hard drive out of this RAID. All three of these are RAIDed together. Bam. Let's see, what happened? Oh, my disk is still mounted. What? I can actually pull a hard drive out of a RAID array while my Mac Pro is running? And you know what else? I can stick it back in and it will rebuild the RAID. So if I have a hard drive that fails and I just stick a new one in there, I can hot swap these bad boys and it will rebuild the RAID automatically. Now I'm sorry, I want to see your custom built $900, $1000 PC do this. Now. I want you to raid three of your hard drives together and I want you to pull one of them out and stick it back in and see if it will rebuild. I want to see your thousand dollar PC do this because this is just one of the small advantages of a Mac Pro that people don't understand, don't realize, and don't mention. Okay? Thanks for watching. OS. Well, Apple Soldier, I think I just showed you my thousand dollar computer doing the same. and. The reason it's not talked much about when it comes to the Mac Pro and software RAID is because it's standard feature in OS X and also in Windows XP. I can make a video to show you if you want to. 
You didn't say much if you have a JBOD or if you run a striped set or whatever, but since uh, OS 10 only gives you the opportunity to run a striped set, a mirrored set, or a JBOD, I'm assuming you were using either JBOD or striped set. And don't worry, I did the same test in striping mode on my disks and the same result. And here's a few benchmarks. Here's the single drive, you see the Xbench score and the number of megabytes per second. And here is the concatenated disk set or JBOD, you see the disk score and the read write speeds. And here's the th same three drives in striped set and you see the score is way higher. So why would anyone run JBOD? I don't know.